Yo. You thinking too much. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh my god. Get him in. Don't get Bruh. shot. Get out your head. Whoever wrote this dude's dialogue is a fucking genius. <laughs> What's good, yo? We back, RTTV. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. So make sure you kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button. And welcome back to RTTV, where we react to everything. 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 And we're back with episode three of Blue Lock. Whew, I love this show, yo. Last we left off with, uh, you know, we're about to get into our first game. Yes, yeah, Sersky. Mm -hmm. I forgot what the team is, but our team is Block Z. I think we're facing X. I feel like we're facing X. Yeah, if that's the letter as before. I could be wrong, but uh, let's see if the a group of all, what do they call it, forwards? Forwards, yeah. Yeah, can get it together and, and get their first dub, man. You guys ready? Striker! So, if you want to watch the full reactions to this episode, make sure you check out our Patreon, man. We'll have the full reactions to the entire series. Yeah. Hero Academia, uh, House of the Dragon, if you're watching that with us, and uh, all the other shows that you're watching. So check it out, patreon.com slash RTTV underscore. Episode three, Soccer's Zero. お、ザンクス。イサキ君から順番にやりたいポジション決めてこう。俺はフォワードがいい。オッケー。はい。that dude's low key a genius. Bro. Yeah, hell yeah. My boy Ego. Oh, that was Team X. Okay. I like these, these cuts, bro. So, whoever, whatever three players get the most goals move up, they said? Now, I need to rewatch that because it kind of went by fast. fast yeah. as fuck. All a bunch of letters on the screen, bro. I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? What are they doing, bro? Ain't nobody gonna score if we play like this. Nah, that's why homeboy's gonna. That's why he's gonna get the ball back and score. Stupid asses. Uh, Team members gonna be going against this each other. Awful. This they is should, all out. They predicted this one happening though. Like the, this the is soccer guy, rugby. Though. Like this shit ain't even soccer no more, bro. Yeah, I really wanna know what he's about. The monster. I was about to say, I'm like, yo, somebody's monster gotta come out. Yo, like, what are you doing, bro? Oh, oh shit, shit. Oh, man. oh my god, he did him off. Man. Oh, he's yeah. out here. He's out here, out here. Oh, they call him Nutmegs in soccer, yeah. too? That's fine. That's where it came from. Oh, really? Cool. Oh, oh. my god. Homie's nasty. Go! Go! Team X. Go! Go! Y'all need to get y'all shit together. He's gonna get eliminated first. Trash. So yo, fuck it, go crazy, bottle. Wow. So they're still passing the ball. They're Damn. smart. They're smart. And that's why they rank higher than them. Yeah. 
Call him King Bottom. You know what's crazy? They could just make it so the top three people on their team could advance. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, they're getting fucking tortured right now. Damn. Nah, this is a blowout. They try to grab him. I, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. As they should have. They should have definitely lost that game. Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's go, bro. Be the one that the team follows, bro. Alright, we need to boost up our morale, yo. Wow, what a pass. You forgot about me? Don't get Bruh! shot! Get out your head! You can hit him off! Hit him off! Hit him off! The hell? He has analyzed the field in a split second. Let's go! Oh! Whoa! Damn, that, was a, go! That, was, that was a that Bro, was a that was a hard as shit. That was a that was a that was a that was a kick. It's crazy how this monster kind of knew instinctively that he would be able to score that shit. What are you mad about? Cause you didn't get the ball. I mean, I think that's pretty obvious. He wanted that goal. Nah, I know that, but like. But now he got three people on the scene rather than just two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause he always had Bachi though on his back. Now he got Ichigo. That guy might be somebody important in the future. King Baru, bro. <laughs> I mean, was it really? Was he really nervous though? Because they scored. Well, he was definitely what he did shook. Was smart. I mean, it, it could appear as that because he said he set up to strike the ball for the goal and passed it. So he's very. It looked like he was deciding that he didn't. Yeah, facts. Fucking hate this dude. <laughs> Noob, why am I a noob? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Like, it's no team. Create a team from zero. Yeah, that's true. Ego is a genius, bro. What the fuck? That's you always listen to you creep. That's zero. Wow. That's zero fucking is savage, bro. Yeah, that's that's, that's bad. Everybody has to play a role in that shit. Mm -hmm. Whoever wrote this dude's dialogue is a fucking genius. He really, that's why I feel like it really comes from a real place, bro. Like this guy, the writer, really feels like this about Japan. Yeah! If that will fucking motivate you, I don't know what will. That shit was exactly what they needed to hear right there. Ego is dope. He's a dope character. Well, Ichigo getting it in. Anybody know how to do one-handed push-ups, sir? Pat? Uh, I don't recall. I tried before. That shit hard.
He's like Bakugo. He really he's is. Right yeah, I, yeah, I was thinking about that, but like for some reason, I usually like characters like that. He's mad annoying. He's OD. Nah, like, he's, anno- he's annoying. He's annoying. He's annoying. But Bakugo had some annoying moments in My Hero. That's creepy. That's creepy. Like an example of Bakugo doing something like that is when they had to take the exam and he failed. But I mean, like he was being really, he was being, he, he was, as a, he as was a being, re- nah, he's developed as a character, but he was being, he was being extremely, extremely stubborn within that moment. Hence why they failed like this character. But I don't agree with how this character was acting. Definitely. Because like, it's not that big of a deal that you just didn't get the ball. Like that's corny and shit. Like I could understand why you could say that he's annoying. No, nah, I think, I think he, he had a reason on why he was screaming in that way. Like I don't, when they were first out there and they were like, yo, I need to get the ball. I need to get the ball. I don't blame them for acting the way they acted initially. That was the point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was the whole point of the experiment. Mm-hmm. Um, he was just mad annoying afterwards. Like the way he screamed and shit, it was just annoying to me. But I, the way they all acted, it I all makes sense to me. Yeah, I like this. I love the show because of the fact that it's like they really create all these different exercises that allows us and the people that's in the sh- actual show to understand the fabrics of soccer mm-hmm. i love that right there like down to the follicle of what soccer is they're really building up to at least what the uh the me- the, the person that created this show believes yeah. that should be that's I, f- I feel like um this show is dope because they force these characters to find the meaning in everything mm-hmm. like everything always seems like so like out of left field and it doesn't always make sense it's like what am i doing i'm not playing soccer i'm not, like it's like uh mr miyagi how he makes you like do things you're like what am i doing this for yeah, and then you yeah. find out at the end it's like oh it all comes full circle this is why i was doing I it the way you heard that, bro. and it works in practice huh so i wonder where you heard that example from i don't know i said that last episode um, last reaction i don't remember that I but said, wax on wax off i didn't give no nah, he, i think he did yeah but okay um yeah <laughs> so Shout out to Blue Lock. This is this show is definitely fire because I feel like it's definitely um a way of showing a different way of coaching other players or like teaching other players how to uh play soccer. And I feel like while watching this, you are learning and you're getting coached at the same time, where you could probably take these skills onto the field. And I like the history that they give on Japan's history with sports, like the way they even broke down why they're so good at baseball, breaking out how mm. culture and the way they grow up affects the actual way they play a, a typical type of sport. And being into sports, I never realized how other countries, it, being from other country could help you or be a disadvantage for, for you in different type of sports. And um, this helped me understand that and learning that through soccer. Like I said, my favorite character might really be the actual dude that sucked the whole thing. What's his name? Ego. Ego, like I really love the, I, I like how he really takes it serious. Like he, you could tell he really did his research. Like he took all the statistics, all the knowledge and is really giving these guys great information if they could see, read between the lines. He's yeah. a super fan. And I like I like how he, the way he teaches is kind of a mind fuck because it's like the top three players, the top three scorers are the ones that will advance, but you got to start from zero, right? So it's like the top three stars are gonna scores are gonna advance, but how could you even how do you even get to that point, right? You got to get to a point where you're working as a team, which is ultimately what he was trying to teach him, which was interesting because like I'm going into it thinking like, all right, y'all all been on a team before, y'all don't understand the basic concept of working as a team in order to win, even though he did say it was all. It was it was everybody. It seemed like it was everybody for themselves at the end of the day. But you still have to think like, hey, you guys are on teams. You don't think that collectively you guys could like get come to a consensus. You know what I'm saying? But I, it, it makes sense just because they all play the same position and they're all dry, they're all trying to like take control because they're all used to playing the same position. Especially when that they got sense. told yeah. the fact that you got score, you got on the top three scores, got to move forward. Yeah. Or so I like that. That was a good lesson. That was like a. To Robbie's point, the you got to read between the lines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they broke down soccer to like you have zero teammates. Like I have no teammates at all. It's literally me against this other team. But they have to understand. Like at least my my consensus would have been, I right, yo, let's play for it as a team before they do score four or five goals. Yo, at the end of it, fuck it. As long as we up, yo, everybody for themselves, go crazy. Like <laughs> then you try to get sense. your shit. But like yo, at then least let's, let's win as a team first, and then we gotta figure it out. Because I do think that like. Man, and I think the natural thing is to do that. Like if somebody was like, yo, y'all are all gonna play five on five, but whoever gets the most gets a million dollars. Yo, at a certain point, it's gonna say, fuck the game. Mm-hmm. Fuck the game, I'm going for the million dollars. Like, like I don't care, like, yo, 
fuck it. I got to try to do what I got to do for me. So how do you get people out of that mindset? That's and tough. That, and, and, and that's tough. And that's why I like that it's a mind fuck because the reality of it, soccer is a team sport. So it's yeah. just like you kind of throw them off guard and you have them thinking like it's all about them at the time when they really should be treating it as treating it as a team they should be strategic in their approach and they just didn't do that yeah he, so, I, that's why I like because ego is really rewiring their brain on their thoughts on soccer like mm -hmm. it's different and it's different than everything you thought like it ain't the what you used to play before this is different yeah especially it's like fuck you everything win. you thought about before yeah, especially if you want to win like you, you have to think of it this way not the way you think of it before so mm -hmm. i think a lot of stuff in life is like that it's like if you want to get to a certain uh, different point in your life you kind of have to uh, change your outlook on shit. Yeah, you know paradigm shift because a lot of people exactly. tend to have a certain like dogmatic approach when it comes to things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an ideology. Yeah. Blue Lock, man, we're learning some shit here, guys. And a lot about soccer, a lot about team, uh, playing team sports and uh, the differences in them. You would think that baseball is a team sport and if you could play baseball with that mentality, you would probably think you could play another team mm -hmm. sport, you know? But nah, it's different around Don't here. Don't work around here like that, totally buddy. It's different. different. Fundamentals. But if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button. It's your boy, Wells, the Anime King. Patrick RT. It's a man, the myth, the maniac. Welcome to the score, RT. It's your boy, DC. It's your boy, Rob City, RT. And that settles it at the, the round table. table. Your song. Oh. <sighs>